Hi guys, I'm Jen. And I'm Shannon. Welcome back to the Common Chaotic Connection. We're best friends. We are complete opposites. Shannon loves a waterproof mascara. I am not a waterproof mascara lover. Neither of us like tubing though. No. I find if I don't wear waterproof mascara, I get raccoon eyes. I have baby eyelashes. We don't know how it happens. But I end up with mascara all down here. If I don't, if I wear a waterproof mascara, I feel like I rip my eyelashes out all, all day. Because you're aggressive. Aggress. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're opening this Ofra mystery box that Jen purchased. <laughs> um, so this box had a weird pulley, like a pull thing to open it. And they taped on top of it. <laughs> yeah, so we opened it. So... Pulling the thing made the box ugly. Kind of ugly, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but hopefully what's inside is beautiful. This box was $100, and that included shipping. And you could use several different... Jen had a code for like codes. 10% off or something. Yeah, yeah. So, t so this box cost me $80. So I did not partake in this box. I've gotten Ofra boxes before. She doesn't like Ofra. I just am not a fan of the formula. I have one Ofra item that I love. It's the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Glazed Donut Highlighter for pasty, pasty white girls. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's the only product I've gotten from Ofra that I absolutely loved. I had, I got... It was a Black Friday mystery box because there was like a special Black Friday eyeshadow palette and it was pretty and smoky. And I just, I just couldn't get behind the formula. Yeah, I, I don't mind Ofra. I, I definitely think a lot of the color stories are right up my alley. They cater to me. Mm -hmm. They're not off the wall. I love some of the collabs they've been doing lately they with do some of the influencers. Some and some per Their stuff's pretty. I won't deny that. Yeah. But it's just not my, it's just not my favorite brand. So, <laughs> with that said, let's get into the box. Here, I'll hold the box for you. So, this is what she looks like. It says like. it's Fragile. Fragile. Oh, There's... this is cute. So, this is very Ofra branding with the triangles. What does that say? Uh, look down for an awe moment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's some weird styrofoam happening. Oh, it's for your phone. Yeah. For it's a styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> it's styrofoam. I here, love it. Here. <laughs> Demonstrate. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's no, not, it's just it's a little not quite. It's not for your galaxy. Try your iPhone. <laughs> my iPhone is kind of short and fat. So I don't think that's going either, but all right, so I'm just going to grab a thing. Yeah. Okay. So we have Ofra Loose Powder. Okay. What's okay. color? It's Brightening Strawberry Airbrush Setting Powder. Set your way to Berry Fabulous with our all-in-one Brightening Strawberry Powder. This innovative matte powder is versatile and can, can be used to conceal dark under eye circles. I do like using a little pinker tone under my eye. Have you tried that on a dark circle? I have not. It helps. It does this thing. Set concealer and foundation, bake and highlight. And it brightens. Open it up. Let's see what it actually looks All like. All right. I already know this is not going to work for me. Because I do color correct and I have to go orange because I'm dark. This is very pink. Extremely pink. Mm -hmm. Um, That's very pink. But I have been noticing a lot of people have been using pink under the eye to brighten. And... I saw a video once of a lady putting red lipstick under her eye. I've seen those too, but I, I'm not against that. And then that. she put foundation on it. So, I mean, I think a pink powder does its thing. Also, can we talk about how little that jar is compared to the box? Why? Why are we doing this again? Like... We're it's two times. Yeah, you can. Mm -mm. 
make a shorter mat. Extremely wasteful. I yeah. agree. I mean, it's cardboard, so we can recycle it, but it's unnecessary. We wouldn't have to recycle it if you didn't put it there. I'm not excited about go. that. I'm sorry. All right. Oh. Oil-free moisturizer, a lightweight hydrating moisturizer. Oh. Go oil-free in this lightweight moisturizer. Look dewy, but never oily as hydraulic acid leaves skin. Supple and jasmine extract protects skin from the environment. This sounds fine. Yeah. But I am going to put She's my normal oil. oil. <laughs> It's oil free, but this um, will be but oil. I do <laughs> like the sound of a, a dewy look. It's I love a dewy look. When you are old and crusty, sometimes something a little dewy is nice. Yeah. Um, I do think that seems like a small tube. I think it's pretty small as well. It's one. What is that? Oh, it's one point seven fluid ounces. So it's really not that small. It might look small because it's not in a pot. Right. I'm used to getting my moisturizer in a pot. You yeah. don't mind a tube, though, because then you don't have to stick your fingers in it. Yeah, or a Q-tip or, yeah. or a spatula or whatever. You can just... Crusty fingernail. All right. So, what is this? Cheek and lip cream. Okay. In the color Devoted. Very, I mean, that's definitely all for packaging. For sure. Yeah, for sure. The squares... This looks itty bitty. Oh, that is. It, I expected it to be a fatter. A little I expected bit fatter it to be a fatter. That. But look at again. Look at how it's much. It's got like a separation divide. And why? Why? Why are we doing this? So this is pretty. Um, I'll probably try that. But for a cream product, that's very small. It's very small. I'm like, gonna look at this is an eyeshadow pan. Did it say of cream lip lip and this this looks like when we were young and your mom would get you the cheap kid makeup for Christmas and it would have these like lip color balm things that were in a little hole in the tray. <laughs> This is what this reminds me of. Yeah, it does. Like, it's petroleum based, one hundred percent. Um, it's a pretty. I mean, it's a pretty color. It's petroleum based. Did you say? I'm guessing it looks like it is. Let I me, don't. Let me see this. I don't think I would put that on my <laughs> cheeks. Ingredients: pterodactyl tarmolite. Maristol ether propionate, alkyl benzoate, oh, kaolin. So it's like shea, shea, whatever kaolin is, is like shea butter, kind of. So it's not actual petroleum. Although I don't know what pterodactyl pteromolite is. It's a dinosaur. Um. Yeah, I don't... I'm going to try it. Yeah. You try it. I don't mind the color. It's not very much, so it's not like you're wasting a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. So, I got a little foursome. These are Gen Forward colors. Yeah. Everyday Nudes Volume 2 Mini Lip Set. Okay. So, does it have colors? Gen likes an Everyday Nude. I do. I love to be nude every day. It's there on the back. Can you see that? Sao Paulo, which is a neutral peachy nude. Manila, which is a neutral nude. Bell Harbor, which is a mauve nude brown. And Canyon, which is a terracotta nude. So right up my they alley. They all sound like colors that yeah. Jen wants. To put really on pretty. Face. Love. Really excited. Okay, this is Ofra HD Volumizing Black Mascara. Oh, yeah. So, all of my favorite influencers use this, and all of my favorite influencers love this. 
That means I probably hate this. <laughs> I don't know what the wand is. I don't want to pull the wand out yet because I'm still using a mascara, but I do want to see what it looks like. Did you hear that? Yeah, your stomach is doing a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a cute. This packaging is super cute. I've never, I've not tried the mascara. Have you heard anything about it? Just that all your favorite influencers. <laughs> <laughs> all your information comes Jen from me. Jen watches all of the influencers. I do. I love my influencers. I watch. Not very many anymore. No. Mm -mm. Beauty. So this is probably terrible coming from somebody that's doing makeup YouTubes. Um, the beauty community on YouTube is kind of feels stale to me. I do watch just Anne. I do watch Alexandria Ryan. Um, I sometimes watch Subbox lover. And if I know something is coming out and I kind of want to watch spoilers, I will go searching and I'll just watch whoever's posted. Mm -hmm. But like, I joined Tati's mailing list and she texts me more than a man. Tati will not <laughs> leave us alone. Um, but, and I'll watch Manny when he puts out a new Love Manny. Um, collection or if he posts a video of something that I'm interested in finding out if he likes it. But I, it's, I just don't. The Walsh yeah. brothers, I, I mean. Oh, obsessed with both of them. Um, but I see them more on Facebook now than I do on YouTube. Yeah, they're everywhere. So I, I'm i not an avid watcher anymore. What happened to you? Life. <laughs> okay. So this is an Ofra lip liner. Um, Ofra lip liner. That's what it says. Does Ofra do lip liner? Clearly Ofra does lip liners. Okay. What is what? This color is called chestnut. This looks like mudslide. This looks like a color that Jen wants. This looks like mudslide. I'm going to open this because I you need, need to know. I, I'm really excited and I'm trying not to be because I don't want to be hurt. Devastated. Jen does not want disappointments. No. I mean, nobody wants to disappoint. But. No, but, like, I love Gerard Cosmetics um, Mudslide Lip Liner. I can't find a good dupe. The one decent dupe is Jeffree Star's Dominatrix. And they don't make it anymore. They don't sell it anywhere. Unless I want to get it off, like... There's a demon inside me right now. <laughs> I'm ready for dinner. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. So that's brown as can be. This is the brown that Jen's going to use as a lip liner with the... All of it. Anastasia lip colors that we got in the Trend Mood box, if you watched our last With video. every single one of those lip colors, mm -hmm. this is my brown. It's brown with the slightest bit of red in it. That is what I like. Found you. Thank you, Ofra. Thank you, Ofra. Oh, yeah. One last item. This is a pro palette. This is a pro palette. These are a hundred bucks. Well, so was the box. Don't throw this in here. This. Oh, put that with your other products. Do you want? Just slide it out. It okay. So first of all, I would like to say that this looks like a set of paints that I had in high school in, in art <laughs> class. Like just the packaging of it. That's what it reminds me of. Which I guess if it's a pro palette, it's a paint palette basically. Refillable. So that's one thing I like about Ofra is that all of her palettes, the little pots are, you can pop them out and order just that one pot. So if you hit one pan on one color in that palette. You don't have to buy a whole new palette. Right. You can buy just one color. So this is a professional on the glow volume two palette. So this is like a this is expensive. Like a highlight palette. Ooh. Okay. Wow. That's pink. You have this. No, I don't. 
Did you at one time? I've seen you with this palette before. Um, I have this glow. No, no, <laughs> no. You have this. Um, you have it oh, for this. No. I have seen you with this. I'm not. I am not crazy. I think I decluttered this. Do you? Does this look familiar to you? Uh, mine was not this big. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> I'm, wow. So, this bronzer is going to work for me. Um, I love the blush color. That blush was, that's not the same blush I had. Mine, it's not I did not have anything that pink. Mine was more like a peachy. I'm going to have to remember to be careful with this because this could go nuts on me. That's, that's pink. But I really like it but because it's, it's got shimmer in it. So I think it'll look light mm -hmm. on me and it won't look like milky or gray. I also think that these highlights are dark enough. You're showing them my... Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's you were showing them my shelving. That's fine. Um... These highlights are are dark enough for you to use them. These are not necessarily pasty white girl highlights. No. I could probably use them. I would have to go with light hand, but so all right. This is a snuggle up duo. Yep. What does that say? Pure glow finishing powder and light. This a finishing powder? That looks like a highlight. Ma'am, I'm just reading what it says. Okay. What does that say? Hot Cocoa Duo. This. Oh, I got this That's one. That's got to be the Hot Cocoa. And then this is Snuggle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What is that one? Cosmo Blush. This. And then X's and Glow's Highlighter. Okay. So we've all seen that a hundred times mm -hmm. with several different colors in it. And Versatile Matte Bronzer. Yeah. So this bronzer, I'm going to be real honest with you. If I used a light enough hand, I could probably use it. Do you think so? Yeah. I would have to use like a fat, fluffy brush. Like, I, this is not a contour color for me. No. But if I took a fat brush and a light enough hand, I could probably get away with it. Let me show you. This is what I, I normally use for a bronzer. What is that? It's the Too Faced Coco Contour. I normally use like this color for bronze. Mm -hmm. That's really gray. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm pasty. <laughs> Smell it. Oh, hot cocoa. Yeah. Um. So let's pull that one up. Let's see. I guess it. I mean, it's not that much darker. No, not really, is it? No. Oh, look, there we are. I love us. Um. But again, I use, I, if I do this, I'm using like this. Mm -hmm. Like it's super soft and I'm using a very light hand. So this can be, this is obviously not a very dark complexed girl, mm -hmm. but this can, I, I would say the light to medium. Yeah. I'm just really surprised because I don't usually get... In mystery boxes, things that accommodate to me. But I know I can pull that you off. You definitely don't usually get things that would maybe accommodate both of us either. No, that's like, not a thing. We clearly have different skin tones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Um, I love this. I love this. Yeah, this is pretty. I know I've seen you with this. I know I'm not crazy. And I'm sorry you decluttered this, but... I mean, let's be real. There's 40 pallets of crap right there. <laughs> yeah. It's probably there. Oh, gosh. So, um, I love this box. So. I love it. I'm not mad that I passed on this box. No? There. I would not use that lip liner. No, you would not. I would not use the lip colors. No. I probably wouldn't use the blush. No. Um, you would probably I use... would try the mascara. 
the mascara and the moisturizer. I, yeah, I would use the moisturizer. And what was that first thing that you opened? Oh, the... The powder, the strawberry the powder. powder. I might try the strawberry powder. I'm afraid that pink of a powder, though, would make me look drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've seen me when I've had a few... She's red, I red. get very flushed. So I'm afraid if I try to use that powder, I would look very, I would look too pink. Um, like if I do use a pink on my face, it's usually like just where the, my concealer is to get rid of darkness or it's not, I don't, I lose, I will lose powder that that, that's that pink it scares me a little bit. Yeah. I do use a purpley powder sometimes. Um, lavender. Yeah, you yeah. do use a lavender. But I'm very pink or I'm very yellow. So the lavender kind of balances, balances the two, but I think a pink powder would be too much for me. Um, this Pro Palette is beautiful, but I don't, it's not something I need. Well, I didn't need it, but I'm glad to have I mean, it. I've got the Coco Contour. I've got the Anastasia Glow Kit. I've got 37 highlighters from Jeffree Star in some form. I've got the Fenty Diamond Balm. <laughs> Setting powder. <laughs> That's what she does. So if you have this, pro tip. <laughs> um, this is the Fenty, I, I lost the outer plastic. The Fenty Diamond Balm. And I don't know what color this is. It's got some residual blush on it. Um, this is just kind of subtle sparkle. This is not like I'm going to highlight and no. be flashy and glowing. This is like subtle sparkle. I use a fat brush with this and use it as a setting powder. We used it at a wedding and made the bride look like a glowing fairy princess. You get Edward Cullen... Sunshine sparkles. <laughs> yeah, she looked gorgeous. Oh, she did look gorgeous. Love you, Destiny. <laughs> I saw her today with the babies. Um, so there's not anything in this in this box that I love. There's not anything in this box that I need in my collection. I love every single thing except for that pink powder. And I, I love this for you. I know that, so I know that the highlights are good mm -hmm. cause, because I have, it's somewhere here. I have the glazed donut one um, and I'm assuming her other face powders are good. It's the eyeshadow that just didn't do it for me. Yeah. So I'm excited for you to have this. This is, this box screamed Jen. Yeah, it did. It did. Like, nothing was intimidating other than the pink powder. But that's a little just funny. because pink powder is kind of weird. Well, pink powder is also all the rage right now. And it's that's just a personal preference for me that I but don't appreciate it. But we're not the every, trendy girls either. We know what we like and... We're particular. Yeah. Um, but everything else in this box. I love this absolutely box. Absolutely scream Jen. And Jen doesn't mind a loose powder. Jen prefers a loose powder that's not translucent yes because they tend to lean white yep um and flashback and chalk and i yeah. can't look whiter than my friends in a picture if, if, <laughs> if i if i use a loose powder that's translucent or white it's fine if she does it's not she looks sick like gray yeah like Throw her on a gurney and yeah. send her to the vet to be put to sleep. Yeah. So, yeah, this box was very gen. I gen. love this box. I'm glad that you love it. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that this box screamed Jen. Yeah. Because um, usually I'm the one pulling the trigger on something and she's not. <laughs> it's true. And she sent it to me and I was like, hmm. And she says, I already got it. But she's not an Ofra lover 
typically yeah. anyways. So to spend 80 or or $100 on a brand that I don't love just doesn't... It didn't make sense for doesn't her. Doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. So tell us what you think. Did this box scream you? Did you guys use the pink powder? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Tell And give us real tips on pink powder because if we get some good ideas, maybe one of us will... Yeah, do you have like a medium tan complexion and can pull off a pink powder? Are you a pasty white girl that gets real flushed? <laughs> Do you pull off a pink powder? Do you drink too much all the time? <laughs> Not all the time. Just sometimes. Yeah, tell us, tell us what you think of pink powder. Yeah. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Ring the ding-a-ling. Ding-a-ling. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.